What's going on everybody? It's Justin Sarachik, Editor-in-Chief of Rapzilla.com and we are back with the news. It is 2021. Let's forget what happened last year and let's move forward with a new year. I wish you all much health, success, and happiness. I gotta give you the news because I had a little bit of a break. So here we go. We brought back the Rapzilla Awards. Last year we took a break because we tried something that didn't work, but this year by popular demand, we have brought it back. And think of it more as honoring people within CHH for representing and getting all of their creative juices out despite the turmoil around them. So shout out to all of the artists who are nominated. You can vote on Artist of the Year, Women's Spotlight, Album of the Year, Song of the Year, Music Video of the Year, uh, who is your favorite producer, favorite artwork, favorite influencer, all of that is there. You can check out that article on rapzilla.com or it's pinned to the top of all of our social media pages. Be sure to vote by Friday and let's honor some CHH people. Now let's shoot over to top articles of the year. I posted a bunch of those throughout the week, last week, leading up into the new year, like a countdown. Some people didn't understand why we were sharing old news and we had some fun with them on social media. But unfortunately, two of our top articles of the year were also tragic. We had the passing of Truett Foster, who is Toby Mac's son, and the passing of gospel gangsters legend, Mr. Solo. Shout out to the CHH community and the fans for showing up and supporting and bringing positivity and prayer to those families. I know they definitely felt it. Then we had the crazy story of Layla Micklewait who was working with Trafficking Hub to shut down Pornhub for sex trafficking and sexual assault that was being monetized on the website, which is insane. And now huge progress has been made towards that movement and Pornhub is taken down millions and millions of, of videos. Of course, you love to see the news on KB leaving Reach and then joining Sony. Uh, of course, we had the Lecrae interview and a couple of big stories about him perhaps retiring from music. You all showed up to read that. And then what would the year be without the Flame versus Katy Perry courtroom drama that you guys all love to read and comment on. So you can check out all of those articles on rapzilla.com or you can check out the countdown uh, basically like a playlist article containing all of these, all of the top hits of the year that's on the website now. Then we have 15 albums that are dropping in 2021. These will most likely happen or we're speculating that would happen. Will we finally get By Any Means by Derek Minor? Will we get CHH Ain't Dead 2 by Dayton? Will Ruslan and No Big Deal after taking a year off from releasing new projects release something new? Uh, check out that article and let us know who you're looking forward to seeing dropping and let us know if, if we don't have someone there and who you're looking forward to dropping in 2021. Let us know. Then we have an article on songs that were streamed over 1 million times in CHH. Of course, some of the notables are there that you would expect, but there's a couple of others that were like, wow, shout out to you. Good job. I'm making it. Stephen Malcolm, I'm looking at you. Uh, let us know which one of those songs that you played out and wore out and added to that huge number in the millions. Check it out. Now it's time for our sponsored artist of the week, Chris Trent. You're gonna learn a little bit about him and his new project, Samson Ave. So check this out. Chris Trent is a 25 year old artist filmmaker out of Phillipsburg, New Jersey. He released his first single, We The People in 2019 and dropped four more singles in 2020. In December, he released his first music video and on New Year's Eve, he released his first EP called Samson Ave. Chris is an artist who writes out of a place of vulnerability touching on real life struggles while giving hope to perseverance. Samson Ave is an EP that touches on just that. The song titled Samson Ave on the same project is a song about childhood trauma and how kids with rough upbringings can find comfort and hope in Jesus when no one else is there for them. Chris plans on releasing an album this year and is working on several visual content projects, including a 30 second sermon series on IG Reels and TikTok, music videos, and even in virtual concert. So be sure to check out Chris Trent. And that'll do it. Check out all of these great articles and a ton more on rapzilla.com. This year, we're gonna hit you with more interviews, more great content. You know, we're gonna come back with Pen Game 101. We got one day on deck. That episode is coming out real soon. Community Journey Chaos Season 2 will also be dropping. We're gonna change that up a little bit. Of course, you can check 
check out all of your favorite songs in CHH on the Apple Music playlist, Spotify playlist, Pandora playlist. Just look up Rapzilla. You will find it. You will also find all of the Rapzilla podcasts. Let us know what some of your favorite tracks are in the comments or songs that you discovered on the playlist. Thank you again so much for the support in 2020. It was a pleasure get into uh, speak and, and be part of the conversation with many of you who showed up in the comments. And in 2021, I wish you nothing but the best success, health, and joy. Let's get it. All right. I'll see you all next week. Justin out. Peace.